After celebrating a historic milestone on May 1, 2025, by launching the first fully driverless commercial trucking service between Dallas and Houston, Aurora abruptly reversed course just weeks later. Following a request from its manufacturing partner, Packar, the company reintroduced a human safety operator back into the driver's seat of its autonomous big rigs. Now, let's be clear, this isn't just about one company adding a driver back into the cab. This is about trust, timing, and the tension between cutting-edge technology and real-world readiness. It's also a moment with serious investment implications. Aurora's autonomous system, known as the Aurora Driver, is built for SAE Level 4 autonomy, capable of fully driving without human input on designated routes. Its May 1st debut was hailed as a breakthrough, with trucks hauling freight for clients like Uber Freight and Hirschbach. But by May 16th, Packar, one of Aurora's key truck partners, stepped in. They weren't comfortable with prototype parts still in use on the vehicles, and asked Aurora to move its human observer back from the sleeper cabin to the actual driver's seat. In other words, be ready to take over. Not because it doubted its own technology, not because something went wrong, but because the company values long-term trust over short-term glory. That decision is both pragmatic and strategic. Is this a setback? On the surface, yes. Investors and industry watchers may interpret this move as a lack of confidence or a delay in progress. But a closer look reveals it's more a calculated compromise than a step backward. Aurora's relationship with Packer is critical. This isn't just about tech, it's about trucks. Without Packer's hardware, Aurora's software doesn't go anywhere. By honoring Packer's concerns, Aurora demonstrates it's a team player in an industry where collaboration is everything. Public trust in autonomous vehicles is fragile. One high-profile mistake could set the industry back years. Just look at Uber's fatal 2018 crash. By opting to reintroduce human oversight temporarily, Aurora is showing regulators, customers, and the public that safety comes first. The interesting nuance here? It wasn't the software that raised concerns. It was the hardware. That suggests Aurora's AI is performing well, but the physical components of the truck, the brakes, steering, sensors, may still need refinement. That's not a software failure. It's a supply chain and manufacturing coordination issue. Aurora is listed on the NASDAQ under ticker AUR. This recent development might spook some investors, but it could also create a buying opportunity for those who see the long-term vision. Here are a few considerations. If you're a growth investor, Aurora might appeal as a long-term disruptor in a trillion-dollar logistics industry. But if you're a value investor in the Warren Buffett mold, Aurora might look too speculative right now. Aurora's moat might be its tech, but its fundamentals, like revenue and profit, are still in the development phase. This story is bigger than Aurora. It's about how innovation meets reality and how you, as an investor, can learn to spot red flags, manage risk, and think long-term. Innovation requires patience. Just like NVIDIA took years to be recognized as an AI powerhouse, autonomous trucking is a slow burn. Don't chase the hype. Understand the vision, the timeline, and the execution. Trust the process, not the headlines. The media will frame this as a retreat, but strategic pivots often precede the biggest breakthroughs. Remember when Amazon spent years losing money to build infrastructure? That wasn't a failure. It was a foundation. Diversification matters. Don't bet your portfolio on one stock, even if it's in a promising sector. Consider ETFs that expose you to autonomous driving, AI, or transportation logistics. Spread your risk. Aurora's decision to put a human back in the driver's seat may seem like a step backward, but in many ways, it's a sign of maturity. The company is choosing safety over speed, partnership over pride, and trust over triumphalism. That's not failure. That's leadership. For investors and tech watchers alike, the road to autonomy is long. But those who understand the twists and turns and invest accordingly could be the ones who arrive at the destination with the biggest rewards.